Hey guys, in this video we are um, going over the middle ear. We know that the middle ear includes the internal portion of the tympatic membrane, the tympatic cavity, which you'll see as five, and then when I later remove this portion, we'll show B, all the way up to the stapes, which is going to be this little bone right through here. So let me go ahead and pause it, take out the middle ear component for you, um, to show you a little more. Okay guys, so I took out um, a big portion of the middle ear. It's going to be the tympatic membrane, which we know is familiar to us because the white with those striations. This fibrocartilage ring, which it sits in. Next, we're going to have two major bones here. We're going to have the malleolus, which looks like a hammer, kind of, because it has the handle here. The head is going to be this portion, and then you're going to have the anterior process, which you'll know is part C, which comes out toward the anterior direction. So I'm going to go ahead and rotate this a little bit for you, and now we're going to see the incus. The incus looks like a blow dryer, which I thought was pretty cool. So you're going to have the handle of the blow dryer, you're going to have the head of the blow dryer, which kind of sends out the hot air to, to, to dry your hair off. So this is going to be the short arm, this is going to be the long arm, and then you're going to have your lenticular process, which is going to be this little bit right here. Okay, and let me pause it one more time so I can kind of go over the stapes and go a little more in detail over there. Okay, so we're back on this main model, and we're going to go over the stapes. So the stapes is going to be this bone right through here. Now this is the last part, kind of like the border, um, before we go into internal ear. So we're going to have the base of the stapes, which is this thick ring that you see right here. We're going to have the posterior limb, which is going to be this portion that goes back right through here. Then you're going to have the head, which is this little round piece that looks like a little cap on it. Okay? So, by the way, we mentioned earlier that 5 and 5B five is a tympatic, mem uh, sorry, the tympatic cavity. And this is going to be that kind of air-filled space that the tympatic membrane, the incus, they all kind of sit in here. So next, we're going to talk about the, you may have heard it as the auditory tube, the estuan tube. Um, this is where you're going to have drainage that leads out um, to, to the uh, nasal pharynx. So we're going to see a muscle right here. On your model, it's going to be labeled 6, but this is going to be the tensor tympani muscle. This tensor tympani muscle actually attaches to the, um, the handle of the malleolus and it pulls tight and its goal is to dampen the noise um, caused by loud noises, that incoming vibration, right? So it kind of tries to pull it tight and by pulling it tight, it minimizes damage. And next you're going to go over the smallest muscle in your body, which is pretty cool. It's going to be called the stapedus muscle and hint, it's right by the stapedus, right? So it normally attaches right down through here and it's going to attach to the stapes. And so, by attaching to the stapes, it kind of pulls it tight and minimizes it pounding into the oval window, which we know the, the base of the stapes actually sits kind of in or on, like right next to um, the uh, oval window. And that's going to be the major portions you're going to need for the, um, for the middle ear.